and that's it with Charge Your Brand TV. It's time to look at our celebrity interview, and this guy is a visionary in success. Vishen Lakiani isn't just one of Sir Richard Branson's best friends, but he's also a guru when it comes to building a business from scratch and taking it to be worth millions and tens of millions of dollars. He's also one of Malaysia's most successful businessmen. Many years ago, Vishen had a vision. He wanted to create a sustainable business with a minimum outlay on buying things to put into it. So he created a website that turned a $500,000 profit in its first year. So how did he take that up to being 10 million a year? Made 20 websites based on the same kind of business. Ugh. Daft, isn't it? But it makes perfect sense. Why reinvent the shape of a wheel when you know it's round? This guy is a superstar and a genius. So now we have Vishen Lakiani on Turbocharger Brand TV. Well, uh, Dave, I, I, I started out doing online marketing maybe about seven years ago in uh, my bedroom apartment in New York. And uh, what I did was, was the really basic stuff. I was really deeply into meditation. So I found a meditation product online, became an affiliate, and was selling that by buying advertising on Google. And that business start, sort of steamrolled, and seven years later, we, are now, we now run some 20 websites, and we do about $10 million in sales uh, per year. And over the last four years, we have grown the business by about 99% per year in terms of revenue. So we've almost wow. doubled the business every year straight for four years. That's a potted version, missing out all the juicy bits of how you get from a bedroom business to having such a huge turnover of 10 million every single year. What is the secret? How do you make that change and that growth? Well, the real thing is, um, think about this as cloning. So if you're a bedroom entrepreneur, you can probably manage one website. And if you're lucky, get that website to about 500000 Now, if you get it there, $500,000, that's a sweet living. You can live an amazing life with one website generating about half a million dollars a year. Your profits are going to be maybe, if you're lucky, quarter million, uh, but usually maybe around 200000 But still, that would be an amazing life. Now, my question was, how could I get that to $10 million? And the answer was by cloning myself. So simply, rather than uh, focus purely on learning the skills of marketing and learning the skills of building an online business, I decided to figure out the skills and how to build a proper company. So I tried to figure out how I could recruit the right people, how I could train them, how I could create knowledge sharing systems within my company so I could have a team that could make, help me go from one website to 20 websites. And that's essentially what we've done. Now the interesting thing that happened was so we started this out in New York, but I'm not an American citizen. I'm from Malaysia. And um, as I started growing my online business, I no longer had a need to work my day job in the US. So I quit my day job. And of course, when you quit your day job in America, you have to give up your visa. So my visa was gone, and I had six months to leave the US. So I moved back to Malaysia. So the problem was all my clients were in the US. But of course, with the internet, you don't have to be in the same city or country or even continent as your clients. So we started a company in Malaysia, and um, what we then did was we turned this company into one of the top places to work in Malaysia, if not the single best place to work. There were a couple of things we did, and Mind Valley reached a stage where right now we have 45 employees and they come from 22 different countries. Most of our employees are foreigners, not, not people from Malaysia, because our market tends to be the US and the Europe, in Europe. That's where the money is. So we hire people from there. They work with us in Malaysia, and we build an infrastructure, uh, a gorgeous office, online systems, so that the knowledge that I have in building an online, online business could easily be replicated by these 45 people. And as a result, we've been growing rapidly. So this year, we hit 10 million. And uh, next year, we're hoping to hit 20 million. And we want to become a $50 million online publishing business within the next three years. But really, it was really about our key to getting there was figuring out how to attract the right people, train them, turn them into rock stars. Now, people talk about your business, uh, Mind Valley, in the same hushed tones as when we talk about Google. Did you use any of the, the Google setup for creating your actually, business? Actually, yes. Um, one of the things we decided to do was to create an office in Malaysia that is as cool as the Google office. So you've heard of the Googleplex and how beautiful that place is. We invested 
uh, we bought five offices. We knocked down the walls between them. We invested um, close to a million ringgit, that's the Malaysian currency, in building it up into something that is so remarkably beautiful that it's now being submitted for interior design magazines. And people walk into the office and they go, wow. Um, but again, really, we focused on that office because we found that when you have the right people on your team, one of the things you want to do to really make them productive and to really make them um, um, bring in a good amount of money um, is to treat them well. And we have a saying in our company that goes like this, happiness is the new productivity. So I changed my focus. I stopped becoming a marketer. Instead, what I focus on right now is attracting the right people, training them, keeping them happy, giving them one of the best work environments imaginable, and then letting them run these 20 websites to generate money. Mm -hmm.